This is my Hobby King Phaser, uh, running a 4700 kV Mercury motor or EDF jet unit. Uh, 4S 2200 Zippy battery, uh, 60 amp ESC, and uh, it's pulling about 60 amps with a fully charged battery, uh, 940. 40 watts um, all sits in pretty tidy I'm really happy really happy with where it's all sitting just running the wires just straight out the back quite tight now the ESC have taken all the heat shrink off so the heat sinks open um, battery just sits here there's a lot of room a lot of room to move the battery back and forward uh, the actual um, CRG for this battery is about there. Um, around about the 50. Around there from here, so they say 49 ish. It varies a lot. But about 50. And the um, speed controller just sitting on the back. So when it's all got the cover on. It's all just tucks in there. Um, you won't really get it down any tighter than that anyway, so um, tucks in there very nicely. A couple of wires hanging out the back, but I'm not really worried about that. I mean, you know, you're giving yourself a plenty of room, uh, good airflow. Um, these stickers are a bloody nightmare to put on. Oh hell! You just have to uh, take time, be careful, and uh, it's a 70 mil EDF unit, and I didn't trim any of the bodywork out in the fuselage itself. Um, <coughs> I can't really show you now but I just jammed it in but the hatch is um, I had to trim, trim the hatch a little bit so it would sit down back flat and then I forced it down so that the, the fan unit was sitting flat right at the bottom um, because there's not a lot in there, I just temporarily just a little bit of glue around. Uh, one thing you ought to do is take the three wires out the side of the fan unit, which is um, the big end unscrews, the little end has four screws and twists off, and then there's four grub screws that hold the motor on under this cap that you can see and you take that cap off and then take the four grub screws off and then unscrew the far end and you can take the motor out and then drill a 5mm, I actually drilled a 6mm hole on the side and run a wee bit of heat shrink over my cables and they come straight out the side because these wires do come straight out the end of the EDF unit and uh, Get a good fine day. We'll be able to take it for a burn. Um, yeah, really looking forward to it. I hope to be able to show you a video when she's up and running.